So basically, you need some sort of technique that can be applied immediately as soon as they're seen by, as soon as they're rescued. Because before rescue, clearly not, nothing can be done. At the moment of rescue is where you want to treat them. The moment of rescue. You don't, every second is brain. Every second. So uh, uh, the only effective device for carbon monoxide treatment will be something that you can apply right at the time of rescue or in the ambulance on the way to a hospital or immediately as you get to the hospital. Most ambulances can get a patient to a hospital or clinic within 5 to 15 minutes anywhere in North America. So you need something that could be applied immediately. So the ClearMate is something that we developed exactly for this purpose. We wanted it to be portable, we wanted it to be easy to use, and of course the most important thing had to be, and, and the first thing, had to be highly effective. So uh, we developed a device that uh, uh, the patient breathes. Uh, this device provides some uh, gases for the patient to breathe, which are basically oxygen and some carbon dioxide. And what it does is it allows the patient to breathe harder, harder, and harder and get rid of their carbon monoxide faster and faster and faster without their carbon dioxide level going down. Because when carbon dioxide level goes down, brain blood flow goes down, and you're no further ahead. Anybody can see that if they just sat there and started to hyperventilate like this, they'll find that after about a half a minute to a minute, they can't tolerate it anymore. And that's because the carbon dioxide level in their blood has gone down, and that is very uncomfortable for people. So what this device does is it allows you to breathe like that, but keeps your carbon dioxide level normal. Normal. So you can do that longer. And in about 20 minutes, you can get rid of half of all the carbon monoxide that you've accumulated or that the patient has uh, accumulated. So every 20 minutes, you can cut that amount of carbon monoxide in half. So uh, if this is started, for example, at the time of rescue by, say, fire uh, responders, uh, by the time they get to the hospital, before they get in treatment, 50% of the carbon monoxide will be gone. If, if uh, it's a hospital, uh, if they want to send the patient to somewhere where there's a hyperbaric chamber and it takes 20 minutes in the ambulance, another 50% will be gone. It'll be pointless treating anybody. They'll be cured before they get to anywhere where, where there's a hyperbaric chamber.